Hello everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at Nobody. This was directed by Ilya Neischuller, who also directed Hardcore Henry, and stars Bob Odenkirk. Odenkirk plays Hutch Mansell, who is, well, nobody. He's just a regular, boring everyman living a regular, boring life. He rides the bus, he works a regular 9 to 5, keeps forgetting to take the trash out. But one day, some burglars break into his house and they make off with some cash and jewelry, and he has a moment to take one of them out with a golf club, but he hesitates and they get away. Hutch's failure to stop the burglars sets off something in him, and through a rapidly escalating sequence of events, we find out this nobody might not just be anybody. So this movie had my attention right from the opening scene. We see Hutch in what appears to be some kind of police interrogation room, handcuffed, bloodied, with a pack of smokes, a lighter, a can of tuna, and a kitten. Clearly, he had one hell of a night. And I know the person who wrote this movie also wrote John Wick, so let me just assure you, the kitten does not die. But anyway, after that intro, we flash back and get a montage of Hutch's sad, repetitive-ass life. He lives in a very quiet neighborhood, he takes the bus to and from his 9 to 5, he and his wife appear to be separated in spirit, although they're still living under the same roof. The company he works for is run by his father-in-law, who's kind of an asshole. One of his co-workers is his brother-in-law, who's a huge asshole. And seemingly, he forgets to take the trash out every week, which is remarkable. I've never seen anything like it. And his wife is always reminding him that he forgot to do it. At some point, you just gotta think, okay, madam, clearly your husband cannot handle this. This is beyond him. Just take the trash out yourself, because it's the only way it's gonna get done. So yeah, Hutch Mansell really is a nobody. But as the movie goes on, we find out that title kind of has a double meaning. The title does not just describe his current life, but his past life as well, in which he seemed to work for some sort of secret government agency, and his job, the very existence of his job was classified, so he was nobody. We don't get a lot of details about his past life, because every time he tries to describe it to someone, he's doing so after they've been seriously hurt, and the person dies while he's in the middle of describing what he used to do for a living. He talks more than one person to death in this movie. This is certainly not the kind of role I would expect to find Bob freaking Odenkirk in. I mean, I know he can do dramatic acting from, you know, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, and of course he's primarily known for comedy, and he does get a couple of funny lines in this movie. There's a bit where he suspects one of the burglars may have taken his daughter's kitty cat bracelet, and after he tracks them down, there's a great moment where he just yells at them, GIVE ME THE GODDAMN KITTY CAT BRACELET, MOTHERFUCKER! I, I can't do it as well as he does, but oh my god, that was such a great line. That is a man who would clearly do anything for his little girl, and I respect that. There's also a bit that I think might have been in one of the trailers where after he's killed a few of the bad guys, he comes across one of those workplace days without an accident counters and resets it to zero. It's an old gag, but it still works. But yeah, Bob Odenkirk action star never would have called that one, but he really does make it work. The fights in this movie are just insane and brutal and hard hitting which I guess isn't surprising considering that the writer did John Wick and the director did Hardcore Henry. There is some John Wick DNA in these fight scenes because Hutch goes through a lot. He kills a lot of people for sure, but he does not come through unscathed. He is absolutely no Superman. He gets the shit beat out of him. The climax of this movie was a lot of fun. It's basically this big Home Alone sequence, except unlike Home Alone, which was a kid's movie, the traps actually kill people, so maybe Skyfall would be a better comparison. And there is a moment right at the end of that fight that I won't give away, but one of the other characters describes it as just a bit excessive, but glorious, which I think is a pretty good description for the movie as a whole. Overall, this was a lot of fun, Great performance from Odenkirk, and I enjoyed it very much. If you are in a position where you can safely see this movie in a theater, I do recommend doing so. If you are not, the $20 VOD price might be a bit hard to swallow, but when it eventually comes down in price, by all means, give it a watch. And that's all I have to say about Nobody. Till next time, take care.